About 900 ministers from different denominations met at the Asokwa PIWC Auditorium to pray ahead of the Asantman Great Gospel Crusade, scheduled to take place from 10th to 13th November 2022 in the capital of the Ashanti region. Apostle Eric Nyameche was the guest speaker of the program and addressing the gathering, he professed that the crusade will mark the beginning of a great revival. He preached that it is time for the church to step up its transformation game. That this crusade will mark the beginning of the revival that we are expecting in this country. Those of us who grew up in the late 70s to the very early 80s, we saw what happened in this country again. To the extent that Pioneer Tobacco Company had to fold because no one was willing to smoke any longer. But today somehow, on Fridays and Saturdays, you don't have to go to the beer bars. The beer bars have moved to the streets. And if we are the ministers of this generation, then we need to step up our game. For me, I think that the church we are building in our generation is a bit weak. It looks like evil is taking over. Even though we are having many people go to church, the church must sit up and let it be, oh God, that this crusade will mark the beginning of the revival that we are envisaging. He spoke to Penn TV on unity and love among Christians, explaining that the establishment of Christians in love as a body is a true mark to the unbeliever. Yes, so we want to thank God for this meeting. It's one of the preparations towards um, the evangelist calendars coming to uh, Ghana, particularly to Asantimai and to Kumasi. Um, we decided to meet and pray and also to share um, certain thoughts about the preparation towards the, the, the crusade. That is why we met. And it has been a good meeting. If churches break the denominational barrier, I'm sure even God out there is happy. And so we have enjoyed the meeting. We have challenged ourselves as Christians even to do more than we are doing. Yeah, so we thank God for that. We are praying that this crusade will be a mighty one. It will be a, a beginning of great revival. Crusade chairman, Reverend Douglas Frempon, who doubles as the general overseer of Christian Outreach Ministry, disclosed the divine mandate of evangelist Daniel Kolenda and other 200 international evangelists to transform not only a sentiment, but Ghana with the gospel of Christ. Evangelist Kolenda and the Christ for the Nation team came to Ghana and they held a crusade in Kumasi. The crusade was so successful. Hundreds of thousands of people gave their life to Christ. In fact, at the last day of the crusade, about 700,000 people were in attendance. In fact, that in the history of evangelism in Ghana, that is the biggest crusade ever that's, that has been held in Ghana. And eight years down the line, they have a mandate again. Evangelist Kolenda and the rest of the team have a mandate to come back to Kumasi. This time, not to reach only the Kumasi city. This time, we are reaching the whole Ashanti region. And so, an interna international evangelist, about 200 international evangelists, have come, are coming with him. And they will be here three weeks. And they will go to every city, every village, every school, every market, and share the love of Christ. And uh, we understand that uh, many, many, many pastors and churches are coming on board to help get this mandate through. And so on the 10th to the 13th of November, it's a Thursday 10th to the Sunday, which is the 13th of November, we will have a major, major final crusade in Kumasi. And we want to invite the whole Kumasi to come. And we know that many souls will be saved.